Hey guys, this is a review of my Samsung Galaxy S2 running on ice cream sandwich. Yes, you heard it correct. It's running on Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So, it's not actually ice cream sandwich, but it is actually um, what do you call it? custom firmware created by my UI. It has an ice cream sandwich framework, but the theme is not actually the, I mean, it's not exactly ice cream sandwich theme. But uh, since it has the 4.0 framework, it's pretty fast. And like, uh, yeah, I'll show you the version. Yep. Yep. As you can see, it's running on Android 4.0.1. And it's currently clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. Actually, I didn't overclock it. But like, as you can see, the... UI is very fluid and responsive. There's a new notification bar and all. So, like, uh, I'll first start with the benchmark. Yeah, I'll first show you a quadrant benchmark. There it is. As you can see, it's running pretty fast, and it's just clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. It's not overclocked. Submitted and like as you can see, I'm getting right now a score of 4229. My camera is not actually very clear, but like you can see from the bar that like it has raised like very high, so it's like it's 4229. I'll just run it once more for confirmation. Submit it once more, and yeah, like uh, you can see, uh, this time I got a score of 4881. Now, that is very impressive score given that it's just clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. So, so that means this thing is like the real thing so like uh, it has 4.0 framework to just give it a performance boost memory management and the battery life of ice cream sandwich and the battery life of this version is also pretty good but it's not yet the final version it's still in test phases the download links for this version will be given in the description below you can download it from my blog and for more detailed uh, benchmarks and all, it's given in my blog. So I'll just show you another benchmark at uh, 1.2 gigahertz. Let me just overclock it. Okay, see right now it's at 1.2 gigahertz and it's just set on on demand. So I'll just put it at 1.4 and set it on performance. I'll run the benchmark once more. It. 
Yeah. Uh, right now I'm getting a score of uh, 5,763 clocked at 1.4 GHz. Yeah, it is so yeah that's it so like as you can see at 1.2 gigahertz as well as at 1.4 this thing is giving pretty impressive score and like uh, this one's actually uh, this thing was actually created by Gable Next my UI like the download links will be given in my description and like you guys can download it and test it on your own device and please do it at your own risk and yeah like, I'll just show you the browser performance also the browser comes built in with uh, my UI yeah. It's opening YouTube, it's pretty fast. Uh, and like, uh, I just open a uh, high definition video. Description trailer. Connection is very slow. Like uh, for information, I'm taking this video using an uh, Asus uh, EPad transformer. taking some time so like I guess I'll not try it I'll do it later so like as you can see everything works fine yeah this uh, my UI custom software it doesn't come with this theme as default it comes with a separate theme like I'll show you yeah it comes with this theme thing comes with this theme but like I had downloaded like you can s download a separate theme from the theme downloader and like that's how I got the ice cream sandwich theme it's known as black ice uh, so yeah so like you can just download this and you can get the ice cream sandwich uh, effects and all but still uh, what all matters is that this thing gives uh, the ice cream sandwich performance and all which is what I think most users would prefer and anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.